Hello YouTubers, this is Adara, also known as Canius on DeviantArt, signing on for after quite a while. Um, so after my Mass Effect 3 armor, um, I was so excited for um, Comic Con, PCC, uh, for 2012 here in Phoenix. Um, however, a few days ago, uh, my armor is all ready for Phoenix Comic Con, so if you happen to pop by Phoenix Comic Con, look for the giant nerd in white armor, that would be me. Um, however, on Saturday I will be dressed up as a Star Trek nerd because uh, of Patrick Stewart. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is a new project. Uh, a few weeks ago, or actually a week ago, my roommate wanted to cosplay as Rasbarrow from Disgaea 3. So, most of the outfit is going to be hand sewn, and I will not be filming that because my roommate is the one to be making those. However, I am making her horns, her wings, and her little skull pendant. And right now I'm going to show you how I've been going about doing her, her horns. So first off, I cut off a template that fits my roommate's head for her horns. And I just made one. And this one I can flip back and forth. And then with the foam, I cut out three pieces. Um, so I have two in the same way and then one in the opposite way. Reason being is that I'm going to glue these together. And one's going to be in the middle. And the other one's going to be on the end, if I can get it right. So it'll look like that when I glue them together. And I roughed up the inside because this is part of my diamond-plated uh, foam that I have. So I just kind of roughed up all of the diamond off, edge off. So it will, when I glue, glue these together, excuse me, <clears throat> they'll sit relatively flush. And we're going to do that now. Um, I'm not going to cover the whole thing in glue, for reasons I will soon explain. Um, so let's do that first. Get it relatively even. It won't be even throughout the entire thing, um, as you can see here, for instance. These parts, it's just because of the different ways that I cut them out of the foam. And there are always, like, the only way to get it completely accurate each time is to do this by machine, like have a, a machine do all the cutting for me, which I do not have for the money because that's like thousands by hundreds of dollars. So, do that on this side. sits a little bit firmly. <sighs> there we go. All done. So now I have the beginnings of one horn. Um, then I'll go in with my dermal tool here. I bought a new one. <laughs> it's so tiny. I love it. Um, and then I'll go and rough it up. Or not rough it up. I'll uh, go ahead and make this smooth. That'll be the first step is to um, sand this down so it's completely flush. All of it. Um, and then I'll start to round it down to an actual horn-like shape. Um, and when I do that, it will look something like this. So I have one horn done. So as you can see, I already rounded it down. And in some of the pictures I saw of Rasbarrel, the horns had little rib marks in them, and in others they didn't. Um, so I decided to put rib marks in them, um, simply for the fact to make it look not like cow horns. <laughs> but also what I'm going to show you guys is that since I glued three pieces of foam together, I'll get these little lines in here, as you can see, and um, I'm going to show you how to cover those up. I mean, sometimes they're quite flush and I don't have to do anything to them because after I paint over them, that would probably be fairly invisible and not noticeable. But in other places, like up here, I would have to um, do a bit of modifying. So what I'm going to do is um, I have my hot glue and then I have my sculpty two here um, and I'm just going to take my hot glue and run it along that line. And then with my sculpty two I will flatten it. If my glue doesn't want to grab a hold of my sculpty tool. And of course um, in some instances it may just goop up or dry too quick for me to flatten it. But, if that happens, I can just use my heat gun, 
Superheat my sculpty tool and remelt this glue, and it will be fine. That way, when I paint over this, the glue will act like a, a top layer. Um, therefore, the glue will just, or not the glue, the paint will just cover up the glue and not the line, or, yeah. And so when the paint settles, you won't see the line, you'll just see the horn. So, and I have a few more places to do that too, so I'll just do it back here too. Even though doing it back on this side of the horn isn't relatively important, because you probably will never see it. There you go. Just like so. Quick and easy. And you can, if you don't have a sculpt tool, a knife would work. Something that's flat, flat edged and possibly metal would be the best um, that way. So you can just heat it up and then just remelt the glue in case it gets goofy. Um, and then, since this one's pretty much done, I still have a few more tweakings to do with the glue, but it's pretty much done. I have a headband, which is not pink. Uh, Raspberry's headband is bright pink, just like her hair and most of her outfit, but that will be fixed later. We do have some fabric that I will um, wrap this in. And then these horns will just go on like so. And then my roommate can wear them. It will go on her head and it will fit nicely. So, And that is how we're doing Raspberry's horns. Quick, simple, easy um, for any of those who wish to do it. I've seen other people uh, make her horns out of um, like putty or uh, sculpty clay or something like that. Um, and those are relatively, I wouldn't know exactly how heavy they are, but I would assume it's heavier than half an ounce. That's how much this one horn weighs out of faux. Half an ounce. It weighs virtually nothing. So, something lightweight that you will probably never feel on top of your head. So, once again, showing you tips, tricks, and how-tos by Adara, also known as Kanius, on DeviantArt.com. So, um, I'll be back with more videos. Uh, next up, I'm going to do her little skull pendant. Uh, that won't be until tomorrow. But so far, I'm going to spend the rest of the day finishing these horns. That's right, these horns have only taken one day so far. But I must sign off and finish this project before I have more to do. I bid you all good night.